Now we're asked to solve then cos x squared 2x minus cot 2x equals 1 for x between and including 0 to 360 degrees. So how are we going to do this? Well first of all what we've got here is a trig equation with several terms in and we've got the same angle which is good angle 2x but we've got different trig functions and I've got to get this into the same trig function and what you should remember is that there's an identity and it goes that 1 plus cot squared of any particular angle let's just say theta is identical to cosec squared of that same angle theta. Now you should know this identity, okay? So uh, if not, do learn it, okay? So we can use this here. We can replace the cosec squared 2x with 1 plus cot squared 2x. So that's what we're going to do next. So if we put therefore 1 plus cot squared 2x minus cot 2x equals 1. So we've got our trig equation now in the one trig function and what we've got is essentially a quadratic equation because we've got cot squared 2x and like all quadratic equations you need to simplify them make them equal 0. So what I need to do is take 1 from both sides and if I do that then the 1's are going to cancel out, going to give me 0. So what I'm left with is just simply cot squared 2x minus cot 2x equals 0. Now that I've got this far, what I can do is factorize, okay? Do factorize these things. Do not just divide through by cot 2x, otherwise you're going to lose solutions. Always factorize. So you can see that cot 2x is a common factor and that means that we've got another cot 2x inside the bracket minus 1 equals 0. So we've got either cot 2x then equals 0 or we've got cot 2x minus 1 equals 0. So let's just write that in that therefore cot 2x equals 0 or cot 2x minus 1 equals 0. So now that we've done that what we can do is we can look at each of these equations in their own right. So let's just start off with cot 2x equaling 0. So when cot 2x equals 0 now what is cot 2x? Well cot 2x is the same as cos 2x over sin 2x. So just write that in like so and we've got that equaling 0. Now we can multiply both sides of this equation by sine 2x and we therefore have cos 2x equals 0 still. So when I get an angle for sine or cos that equals 0, in order to solve this I always turn to the graph. So we've got that 2x equals essentially the inverse cos of 0. And you should know your graph, okay, we'll just sketch it out here, just in case you've forgotten it. But if you're sketching the graph then of cos 2x, or just cos theta, shall we say, just in general, it starts at 1 here, when x is 0. We're working in degrees here, so it's 1 at 0 degrees. It comes down like this, 90 degrees at 0, 180 it's minus 1. 270 it's 0 and 360 it's back to 1 again. So we just pop that in there, 90 degrees there and 270 degrees there. That's where it's 0, okay, at those points. So having got that, okay, we can say that therefore 2x must be equal to essentially 90 degrees or 270 degrees. And if we divide each of these two answers by 2, you end up with x equaling 45 degrees and 135 degrees. Okay, so that's the first set of solutions. Now we'll come down here and we'll work out when we have cot 2x minus 1 equals 0. So let's just put that up here. When cot 2x minus 1 equals 0. 
what we've got is if we add 1 to both sides, we've got cot 2x equals 1. And we should know that cot 2x for something like this is best changed to 1 over tan 2x. So we've got 1 over tan 2x equals 1. And if we rearrange this for tan 2x, we end up with tan 2x equaling 1. Now, to solve this one, we just inverse tan both sides and we get 2x equals the inverse tan of 1. You should actually know this. This is a very common result. It is, in fact, 45 degrees. So, if you did that on the calculator, you'd end up with 2x equaling 45 degrees. Now it is very important that we either draw the graph or say the quadrant diagram. I'm going to draw the quadrant diagram for something like this. And if you're unsure of the quadrant diagrams, just go on my website, look under the quadrant rule for trigonometry, and there's plenty of tutorials there for the, this kind of thing. So we've got tan is a positive number, it's 1. Okay, and it's at this point that you should be drawing the quadrant diagram. This is naught degrees. Where is tan positive? Well, it's positive in the first quadrant. They're all positive in the first quadrant. And in the third quadrant, so you draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal. Mark these two angles in as being the same. And what we require is angles between naught and 360. So we need to turn in an anti-clockwise direction. We turn to the first line. And this is a possible 2x. Start all over again. From here, turn to the other blue line, and this is another possible 2x. Now, as I said earlier, when you inverse tan 1, you get 45 degrees. So this 2x is 45 degrees. It means this little blue angle in here is 45 degrees as well. That means this one's 45 degrees. So to get the green 2x, you've just got to do half a turn, 180 degrees, plus another 45 degrees. And that's going to give you 225 degrees. So all we need to do now is divide these two angles by 2, and you're going to find that you get 22.5 degrees, or 22.5 degrees, and half of 225 degrees is 112 degrees. 0.5 degrees. So all in all, our solutions, if we were to put them in order of size, would be that x equals 22.5 degrees or 22.5 degrees, 45 degrees, 112.5 degrees, and finally 135 degrees. Okay, so hope you've been able to follow that. And that brings us to the end of this question.